Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, and glad you could attend. Come inside today as we take a look at this short, micro-budget film called Dirty Sanchez. Yes, it's a short film brought to us by Anthony Cooney. You may recognize the name. He brought us the Leaf Blower Massacre. Uh, well, he wrote, directed, and produced this story about Dirty Sanchez, played by Rob Romero, who basically is this slasher going around town wearing a mask, and often people with a hedge clippers, an excellent uh, weapon of choice. Uh, I always like when slashers use... Uh, common tools that you might have in your basement or garage as weapons because they're always those tools you look at going wow that would kind of make a vicious weapon and these slashers take it to heart especially dirty sanchez with his hedge clippers and so i uh, the the deaths that he does in this film uh, are are you know great slasher fun the, the effects on them are done fairly well too. Uh, they were done by Christopher Collar. Uh, he's done a lot of stuff in the independent cinema, both directed, behind the scenes, and, and in front of the camera. He's done a lot of work. And, uh, the gore effects in here were done well. I, I enjoyed them, uh, the, the, how they looked. So, and, and then this film, too, I enjoyed a little bit more than Leaf Blower Massacre, but then again, it was longer than Leaf Blower Massacre, so that could be why I had a little more time to flesh out the story. This one definitely has its humor and uh, tongue-in-cheek type of moments, but also it gets a little bit gritty too in a few scenes which surprised me in a good way it, you know it was a kind of a send-up ode to some 80s slashers complete with the uh, type of soundtrack that they had to it but it definitely wasn't all just uh pope fun hey look at the interesting 80s deaths we can do with the slasher uh it also has a few gritty moments so i liked that part as well now the editing part of it and the storytelling was done all right though uh we had this moment where we're introduced to this couple and we don't see them for quite some time and then it comes around to the end and we, we revisit them uh, and for me that just that took me a little bit away because you're sitting there going okay who are these people but uh, they come back around and we definitely revisit them so that was good uh, that we uh, finally they weren't just randomly put in there so I, I did like that part uh, that we actually got to see them later and in fact they play a major role in the film towards the end of the climactic scene uh, of the movie. Dirty Sanchez I think is a, a better uh, Put together film than Leaf Blower Massacre was in a number of ways. While it is a very low production value, the story of Dirty Sanchez is an interesting one, I think. And if you're a fan of independent cinema or just want to check out uh, Anthony Cooney's work, if you like Leaf Blower Massacre, you'll want to check out Dirty Sanchez. Should be hitting the festival circuit soon. And uh, just keep your eye on Anthony Cooney. I think uh, he gets seems to be getting better with each project, and I can't wait to see the next one, which just happens to be Leaf Blower Massacre. Too. Check out, uh, in, I believe he's got a, may have a Kickstarter, but he's looking for some funding for that one, some help for that one. So head over to Facebook, look for Leaf Blower Massacre 2 as well, and give some support to independent horror, because that's where we're getting our true original ideas fun, or at least our more entertaining horror than whatever Schlollywood can produce. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.